Aside from Saturn, the moon is arguably the most important planet in astrology and magic. It's the fastest moving of the seven traditional planets, and it takes about two and a half days to go through a sign. It takes about 28 days for it to go through all the signs around the chart. That is a lunar cycle, which is a month. As it traverses the signs and takes on the energies of those signs, people's moods change. The moon is a receptive planet with associations to the element of water. And we see this as it governs the tides. And our bodies are mostly made up of water and therefore it has an effect on us as well. The moon governs women's menstrual cycles. That time of the lunar cycle, that time of the month, and their mood will change. <laughs> and so we have a watery, receptive, feminine planet. And anything receptive is feminine, and anything projective is masculine. Now during this lunar cycle, the moon will wax and wane. Waxing being growing larger in the sky to full, and waning being diminishing in light and disappearing into nothingness. And this is the cycle of all things. During your life you will wax to midlife and then after midlife you will start to decline. All things grow and then they decline and die. A celebrity's fame will grow until the height of their popularity to full and then it will decline and then nobody cares about them anymore. This is just an example. Start looking for the waxing and waning in things and you'll get the pendulum swing. You get that natural rhythm down. Most people are out of rhythm with the natural cycle. You should be starting your important projects right after the new moon while the moon is waxing, while it's growing. I learned that I was out of rhythm when I would have a compulsion to start things during the waning phase. Okay, and then things wouldn't turn out. <laughs> you want to start them during the waxing phase unless you're trying to rid yourself of something or banish it then the waning phase is good for a purge. 